Alright, Shalom to the elect of Yahshua'Allah. Starting with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe of the 12 tribes of Yahshua'Allah. Before we get started with this lesson, let's give the much do all phrases honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Recha, Ha, Kodas. Koholo Imla, Abba Nawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Racha Ha Kodas. In the Hebrew tongue, I said all phrases to our Father, our God, Yahawa. In the name, Yahawa Shai, in the name, in the, uh, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, let's give double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. And shalom to you, believers, to the Akim wa Akwat, which will be you brothers, and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Abaratiza, this lesson is edifying and plain upon the tables. I'm your brother Malkaya, representing prophets of Pasadena, Texas Camp, 77504 Branch. All right, today's lesson, through the spinning power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, is going to go into, you know, how only evil is coming, okay, bad times, all right, it's only going to get worse out here in America, especially in America, all right, it's not going to go back to how it was in the 1970s, 1980s, the, the, the so-called good times, all right, it's only going to get worse, much worse. All right. Let's. Uh, I got a few scriptures I want to bring up. A little willing is edifying. All right. The book of Ezekiel, chapter seven, and verse five, in the King James version. And it reads, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and evil, and only evil." Behold, it's come, right? So just bad times is coming, okay? There's only bad times coming. Like it goes into um, the book of Ecclesiastes, if I'm not mistaken, chapter 3, verse 8. Uh, the scripture goes into how, like, is a time of love and a time of hate, a time of war and a time of peace, something along that line. All right, we're in a time of war, time of hate, bad times, evil times. Okay. All right, the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai, is of darkness, not light, great deaths, calamities, destruction, war, famine, pestilences, just all hell breaking loose, man. No good times, all right? So only bad times is coming. All right, it's only going to get worse than it is right now already. In the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1, in the King James Version. And it reads, This know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Right? Perilous times. Dangerous times. Times that's full of danger and risk. Okay? Full of danger or risk. Okay? You have, let's see, dangerous as, as a similar term, fraught with danger, hazardous, risky, unsafe, treacherous. There's going to be treacherous times out here. Okay, let's see. Critical, desperate, so lock it. Uh, desperate times, a lot of people will be desperate. All right, those who are, you know, there's like two thirds. Of, uh, of our nation who took this word for granted, right? So-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, Israelite foreigners, male and female, young, old, are going to be desperate, okay? Because they're not going to have this wisdom and knowledge to keep them stable in them times. The book of Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 goes into that. It's paraphrasing. Wisdom and knowledge 
shall be the civility of thy times. Okay? This this wisdom and knowledge, this truth, the doctrine of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai, it keeps us stable, it keeps us sober. All right, calm, collective in the mind. Okay, but for two thirds, it's going to be uh, treacherous for them. All right, they're going to be desperate. Um, let's see, but you get the point there, right? Uh, notice also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, right? In the last days, uh, perilous times, you know, times that's going to be filled with. Uh, Full of danger and risk, okay. Treacherous times, okay. Because what in Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5, we read what that in the last uh, it's lucky that uh, an evil and only evil has come, All right? It's paraphrasing, bad times are coming, it's not looking too good for America, all right. Which didn't you know which that's what we need as a nation, we need America to get worse. That's the only way we're going to get delivered out of this place, all right. America has to be destroyed. It has to go through those uh those evil times, man. All right, so the book of Second Ezra, chapter eight, verse fifteen, the Good News translation, and it reads: The people of this world who have lived their lives in pride and arrogance will suffer many things in the last days. That scripture, in the book of Isaiah. Chapter um, 32, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Right, he's paraphrasing. Right? Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Right? When you go into the blue of the Bible for uh, at ease, you would get uh, arrogant, wanton, secure. Okay? You have a lot of. Israelite woman here in America that's that's uh at ease, they're arrogant, they live their lives in pride. Okay, so guess what? You're gonna suffer many things in the last days because the last days are what? Perilous times, dangerous times, treacherous times, full of danger and risk. All right. The people of this world who have lived their lives in pride. Right, you got a very prideful, conceited, haughty spirit. But well, also, the people that's part of the the happy people, right? The the rainbow mafia people, right? The LGBTQXYZ apostrophe X, you know, whatever other abbreviations they have. Right, people in that group and arrogance will suffer many things, many things in the last days. You're gonna suffer from famine, heart, uh, stunger, hunger, starvation. Pestilences, right? Diseases, viruses, uh, deadly diseases, epidemics, pandemics, um, uh, the sword, right? The ultimate, the, uh, the ultimate sword, those nukes, those missiles, the thermonuclear fire being cast into FEMA camps by Esau Edom, so called white man, his troops, these Gurkha troops being tortured, being slaughtered, being raped, being the, uh, being eaten alive because of famine. Uh, it's going to be cannibalism going on out here uh being cast in cheese like it's like, like like these camps and being tortured okay uh be haunted in the plague of darkness by strange apparitions monsters apparitions all right zombie like outbreak all right so this is among men all right and the list goes on newly created creatures teeth of wild beasts full of rage the elect men receiving spiritual powers and they're gonna be uh they're gonna be those fishers it's lucky there are those fishers that's gonna eventually turn to hunters and they're gonna be hunting down whoever is considered as an enemy of Yahweh Shah, people of this world all right and many other types of judgments that's 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 planned for the people of this world who have lived their lives in pride and in uh, in arrogance all right I'm gonna read it again the people of this world who had lived their lives in pride and arrogance will suffer many things in the last days. All right. Especially Jacob's trouble, right? Two thirds are going to be suffering in Jacob's trouble. 
suffering many things. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 6 to 7 in the KJV. Ask ye now, and see whether a man do travail for a child. So ask yourself, like, can a man give birth to a child? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as the woman in travail? And all faces are turned into pelvis, right? Because of what? You know, you're going to see a lot of these macho men, these Ray Rays and Pookies, and, you know, these men who your Israelite women are so googly eyes for, you know, like these celebrities, these celebrities, these so, so called macho men who you see in these movies like Fast and the Furious and Aquaman and, and, and Venom and all these so called tough dudes, man. All right, so, these t- so called tough dudes on the block. All right, are going to be like a woman that's in Terrell. She's screaming, she's hollering, she's in pain, she's she's going through it. All right. Um. And also, uh, for the uh, for lack of food, okay, hunger, starvation, right, the famine. All right, and all faces are turned to paleness. Right, the the skin can lighten it; it can get lighter because of lack of food. Right, uh, um. Like poor health, uh, Ill, uh, illness, right? Illness of health, and also from the amount of like fear. Okay. Um, verse seven, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. it. Is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The elect, starting with the one hundred and forty-four thousand elect men. And then a great multitude that's going to eventually come to the fold that makes up uh, the one third. The other is like men, women, and children, the believers, okay? All right, they're going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble. All right, but two thirds are not going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble because Jacob's trouble is for that rebellious house, that stiff necked nation, two thirds. Okay, and you have a lot more women within that two thirds chart than you, than you do men. But a lot of Islamic men. Are going to be decimated. A, a big portion is going to be killed off. Okay, which is going to lead uh, the men of the Lord to become the true high Bible men. All right, because not not many available Israelite men are going to be uh, available or alive. Just the elect men. All right, the men of the Lord. Yeah, how about you? shy. Um, let's get this in good news translation right quick. Try to make it plain upon the tables. In a good news translation, it goes into, it says, now stop and think. Can a man give birth to a child? Why? Well, no, right? Obviously not, right? A biological man cannot give birth to a child. Why then do I see every man with his hands on his stomach like a woman in labor, right? Because of hunger, starvation, and for great tribulation, great suffering, being so afraid, all right, it's going through it. Why is everyone so pale, all right? Why everyone is so pale? Um, all right, pale. You have the objective, light and color, or having little color, like in your, your skin complexion, right? It says, of a person's face or complexion, Having less color than usual, typically as a result of shock, fear, or ill health, because of his famine, because of you know the famine, right? If you don't, if you're not eating properly, you're not you're not hydrated, right? That's can eventually lead to poor health. Your stomach is hurting. You got your hands on your stomach, all right? You're in pain, okay? Which will lead to you looking pale. You know, you're not you 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 you're not looking too good, okay, and also because of the amount of shock and fear that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah is about to put all these people in. Remember, Second Ezra, chapter eight, verse fifty, how that the people of this world who have lived their lives in pride and arrogance are going to suffer many things in the last days, right, right. Two thirds are going to suffer many things in in, in the latter days, and the other nations too, the Edomites, Adawamium, right? The so-called white people, the Caucasians, you want to say, 
and the heathens, the uh, the people of the other nations, especially two thirds of our nation, are going to be uh, looking pale. All right, for lack of nutrition, pestilences that is out here, poor health, shock and fear. All right. Now stop and think. Can a man give birth to a child? Why then do I see every man with his hands on his stomach like a woman in labor? Why is everyone so pale? Verse 7. It says a terrible day. A terrible day is coming. No other day can compare with it. A time of distress for my people. But they will survive. Right? Jacob's trouble is going to be a time like never before. Okay, a day of uh, great distress for the nation of uh, Israel. Those you see on this chart, two thirds, that rebellious house. All right. Okay, and of course the other nations that you see down here on the left hand side, from number two all the way down to number eighteen, are going to suffer it. You know, in Jacob's trouble too. Right, but Jacob's trouble, right, is uh. The two thirds of our nation, that stiff neck house, who don't want to seek Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, that's going to be like their day to, uh, to 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 get the ass well, pretty much, get that uh, what we call it, <laughs> we call it papao, you better get that papao, all right, better get that ass well, <laughs> all right, um, uh, it's like yeah, all right, a terrible day is coming. No other day can compare with it. A time of distress for my people, Yahshala, the Hebrew Israelites, two thirds of our nation. But they will survive, the elect, the remnant, the one third, okay? The 144,000 elect men. And then the other is like men, women, and children, the believers that's going to eventually come into the fold and be sealed. Um, and mind you, these Israelites are going to, that's going to come into the fold later on and believe in the doctrine. Are going to come from all walks of life. You'll be surprised who Yahweh, why Yahweh shies to go have mercy and compassion on. Don't be surprised you're going to see harlots receiving mercy from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and they're going to truly believe in this doctrine. Uh, you're going to have brothers with all types of backgrounds that's going to eventually receive mercy from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. That's going to get delivered out of Jacob's trouble. Um, Let's get uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 19 in the KJV. And agrees, and woe unto them that are with child, and to them that get sucked in those days. This happened in the past, I think like around 70 AD. How much more now? Since we have a lot of people of this world who's living their lives in pride and arrogancy, Right? You have a lot of single, independent mothers who are very proud, prideful. They're very proud of not having the father in the house leading, right? They're very prideful of raising the child alone, being a, what they call it, a, a strong, independent mother, right? It's not going to be good for you to be an independent woman, a, 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 a single mother, let's say. With no head, right? No protector, all right? And Jacob's trouble when all hell break loose. Let's get us in a good news translation. The good news translation, it reads, How terrible it will be in those days for women who are pregnant and for mothers with little babies. So how terrible is it going to be for you Israelite woman in Jacob's trouble? Uh, during the famine, all hell breaking loose, right? You're like a woman that's prideful, who believes that you don't need a man. You don't need the father who uh, of that child, that man that put his seed in you. It's not going to be a, a, a good time to believe that you don't need a man. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be a bright idea to believe that you can make it through Jacob's trouble with no man. Especially as a single uh, mother, a headless woman that has a child. All right. 
how terrible it would be in those days for women who are pregnant and for mothers with little babies. All right. Don't you dare tempt the Lord. Don't you dare think that you can make it through Jacob's trouble as a single independent woman, a single independent mother. I power it. Nah, he 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 he's not dealing with that shit. Scripture clearly goes into in uh First Timothy chapter two verse fifteen, just paraphrasing how uh, she shall be saved in childbearing if she continues continues in the faith. Just paraphrasing. All right, you're going to be sa saved by playing your 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 lot. Your purpose is to is to become a wife of the Israelite man and bear his seed. All right, have sex, you know, become husband and wife. And be a mother to his children. Alright, plain and simple. Alright. Because scripture clearly goes into how that the woman was made for the man, not the man for the woman. Just paraphrasing, okay? Alright. But you women, no, there will be women that's gonna eventually get it. But the rest is gonna be destroyed, okay? Um Let's get this last oh no, it's locked. Ah damn, I forgot. There was something else I wanna get. My bad, my bad. In the same book, same chapter, um, 24, uh, I think verse 21. All right. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 21. In a good news translation, it says, For the terrible at that time, for an example, Jacob's trouble, right? Uh, for the trouble at that time will be far more terrible then there, that's lucky. For the trouble at that time will be far more terrible than any there has ever been from the beginning of the world to this very day. Nor will there be anything like it again. So Jacob's trouble is going to be so horrific, so treacherous, so perilous. It's going to be a time like never before. And never like it again. Alright, Apollo is going to make a statement. Alright, he's going to make a statement here on this planet. Especially here in America. Alright. It's about to get bad out here, alright. Let's get this in the KJV, the original. Then we'll close out. Oh, then we we'll get to uh, the last one. So lock it down. Second Chronicles. Uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 21 in the KJV. For then shall be great tribulation. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, no ever shall be. All right, it's gonna be a time never before, it's never gonna be like it again. All right, you're gonna have like so many prophecies going on at one time, man. You're gonna have wars upon wars upon wars taking place while there's a famine in the midst, while there's pestilences in the midst. Um, you no know, new creatures is roaming around, newly created creatures, feel wild beasts, brothers with spiritual uh spiritual powers flying around, running fast, teleporting, manipulating elements, probably uh manipulating reality. Okay. The <laughs> the, the list goes on, man. Brothers charging up on some Dragon Ball Z shit. You know, on some My Hero Academia, you know, just just <laughs> Punching a whole tornado to you, destroying militaries, a whole, a whole, a whole unit by themselves. Strange apparitions, monsters apparitions out here. It's just, it's going, it's going to be a time never before, man. It's going to be crazy. All right. Um, you know, with the with the chariots finally being exposed and like you know, you know people can see it now. Like it's like really low. You can actually see what his chariots look like. The so-called UFOs. All right. Second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 13 in the KJV that whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai power of Israel of Yahshua Allah shall be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman so any Israelite so called blacks Hispanics Latinos Native American Indians Israelite foreigners who don't want to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are going to be put to death in the times you're coming into. Like the, the great deaths, you know, that two thirds that's going to be cut off and die, right? Whether small or great, whether man or woman, so small, like very young, 
or great, you know, elderly, older. Doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. You don't want to seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Israel. You're going to be put to death, plain and simple. Unless you seek the Lord and repent, which eventually you're going to have the, the remnant that's going to hear this word, this doctrine, and believe in it and be sealed. They're going to pray and you know, repent. But the rest of you Israelites are going to have to be put to death. Okay, because you did not want to worship Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai during the grace period. All right. So I brought this out. The lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. Repent to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You Israelites who has not repented yet. I brought this out. The lesson was edifying. Okay. And you learned something from it. Um, so it's closed out by giving a much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Recha Kodas. Koloim la abanawa ala hayenawa yahawa bahashim yahawa shai bahashim racha kodas. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, since the Akim that's laboring in the works. Shalom to you, believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which will be your brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. DTA, Ababa Basun, Kwam Yashala. Abba Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Baukasha, Shalak Rayum, Wa Ainashim, Wa Abayim, Wa Haragim, Wa Mashapatim, Al Kal Adawamim, Wa Gawayim, Wa Ayab Yab Nawa, Wa Lahamarayim, Wa La Baba, Wa La Pasadena, Texas, Baukasha, 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 Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Dawada Aman.